Hey friends, family, and people who are neither. Sorry I'm a little late today, but um, I wanted to get some studio equipment going because I have it, but uh, I haven't quite mastered it yet, the editing process and all that kind of stuff, so I'm going to hold that off until I get the, uh, the hang of it. Uh, first, this is Secret Squirrel. Uh, he also is a bobblehead that comes from my back shelf over here. No explanation needed. Also, my Starbucks mug of the day is San Antonio. Remember the Alamo. Now we're going to start. I've decided that I'm going to skip the rest of the sex section. It's just too racy for me. It's a little embarrassing. I don't really want to put all that crap on social media. So uh, I'm skipping number 124 through 134. And we're going to the section of love which I love. My 25th wedding anniversary to Nastasia was last Friday, April 10th. You believe that? 25 years. And uh, we sat at home and ate takeout um, from a restaurant. And uh, it was still nice and we'll still do something uh, when uh, the, the prison has ended. All right, 135. John Barrymore, 1882 to 1942. Love is the delightful interval between meeting a beautiful girl and discovering that she looks like a haddock. A haddock. Lord Duar, 136. Love is an ocean of emotions entirely surrounded by expenses. Ooh, he's got that right. 137. Love is a grave mental disease. Plato. 138. Plato again. Whatever deceives seems to produce a magical enchantment. That's insightful. And then here you go, because you're kind of getting the hang of the Plato quotes. You always have the tag now, the callback. Nietzsche saying, Plato is a bore. So Plato is a bore. Nietzsche. 139. The heaviest object in the world is the body of a woman you have ceased to love. Ouch! Marquis. De Luc de Clapel's Vosgerosgue. 1715 to 1747. 140, Saul Bellow. In expressing love, we belong among the undeveloped countries. Whoa. Oscar Wilde, 141. A man can be happy with any woman as long as he does not love her. I wonder what play that's from. That's pretty good. 142, Robert Byrne author of this book, Love Will Find a Lay. Uh, 143, another asterisk. It takes a woman 20 years to make a man her son, and another woman 20 minutes to make a fool of him. Ellen Rowland, 1876 to 1950. That one was pretty cool. I'm leaving it there. I'm going to repeat this because it is probably the wittiest one so far in these 143 quotes. Helen Rowland said, It takes a woman 20 years to make a man of her son, and another woman 20 minutes to make a fool of him. Love you all. Hope you're staying safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the day. Get out. Take a walk. Protest. Nah, maybe not. I wasn't getting political, so let's uh, let's leave that out. Edit later.